Welcome you back to Black Side, and tonight we're going to talk about Simone Sanders being hurt that Jim Crow Joe didn't give her the press secretary job. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Simone Sanders, Stacey Abrams, Amanda Seals, Aina DuVernay, all the people who told you to vote for Joe Biden and not ask for nothing are in their feelings tonight. They thought all that bootlicking would get them a position in the White House or some say-so in the White House, but they had another thing coming. Jim Crow Joe, over the last 50 years, has showed you who he really is. The father of mass incarceration. You thought that he was going to give you the most prestigious job in the White House, press secretary, which you're on TV five days a week. You thought he was going to give your manly looking self that job with his administration. And he gave it to Jen Psaki, a woman who spent very little of no time campaigning for Joe Biden. He used Stacey Abrams to get Georgia, but gave her nothing. Didn't even give her a cabinet position. But he gave it to that coon, Kamala Harris, who's probably a biggest mass incarceration of black males that has ever happened in the state of California. See, Kamala and Jim Crow Joe have a lot in common. That's why they're president and vice president. That one thing they got in common is lack, locking up black men. But to get back to Simone Sanders, all that bootlicking, all that sellout, all that putting down black men, that black men should have nothing to say about elections. You remember that statement she said on CNN? That incendiary statement where she basically told black men to shut up and vote? That was Simone Sanders. But now that Joe Biden has sent her over to the vice president's house to work, she's extremely mad. And according to civil rights attorney Bakari Sanders, a friend to Sanders was stung after Biden chose former administration communication director Jim Jen Psaki for press secretary job. Seller said Sanders spent a lot of capital. See that word, spent a lot of capital. She spent a lot of bootlicking, selling out, being a mouthpiece lying for Joe Biden during his run for presidency to black people. For a while, she was the campaign's go-to mouthpiece for the president when it was necessary to defend him against accusations of racism. And what did she get back in return? She got nothing. This is what happens to coons and sellouts and bootlicks. This is why you have the new black media out here that confront, can, can confront people like Simone Sanders, like Amanda Seals, like Stacey Abrams. All this cooning got them nothing, but it got Joe Biden the White House, which he does not deserve. This man is a racist. This man is basically going to put the nail in the coffin of black people. I know many of you voted for him out there. But you don't know the true intentions of Joe Biden. And I want to get back to what he really did. Especially when it comes to that Asian hate crime bill. That I believe was targeted towards black people. This says it all. In this tweet, Kamala about to have you in there washing curry off her dishes and iron pantsuits. 
but we know you don't mind. And that's another thing. We know that bootleg don't mind. We know Simone Sanders don't mind. You showed during the election that you was unwilling to ask for something from your own people. Why do you expect for you to get something? You wasn't representing us. You didn't hold Joe Biden accountable for his actions. But now you want to cry to the same people that you told to go out, shut up, and vote. And how dare you confront Joe Biden on his record, especially when it comes to civil rights and mass incarceration. These coons, bootlicks, and sellouts need to be held accountable for their actions. See, these the type of people who are willing to sell out their own people just to get a position. But the position you want, you didn't get. So was that body slam against a protester, was it all worth it? That somehow you thought Master Joe was going to reward you? You think he has rewarded Stacey Abrams? You think that he has rewarded the black people within his first hundred days? He did not have one executive order, especially for black people? When he filed, when he had an executive order for Asian hate, but nothing for black people who have took the brunt of hatred for 400 years? Do you think an American rescue plan in which he gave Native Americans $32.1 billion and there was no study, there was no commission, the money went straight to that community? See, this is what happens when you have this type of leadership, when you have people asking you, don't ask for anything. What you will receive is nothing. And that's what she received. See, this is what it's all about. People like Simone Sanders, they believe more in the Democrat Party than they believe in black people. And she thought as a loyal Democrat that she would receive benefits from Joe Biden. But Joe Biden doesn't care. And now your feelings is hurt. Well, the black community feelings was hurt when you were attacking people in the new black media for doing something every community does when it comes to politics. They ask for benefits, reciprocity for their votes. But you were the main one out there attacking the new black media. You made them into the enemy. Anybody who asked for something. You made Ice Cube into the enemy. You made plenty of YouTubers who said we should hold our vote until we get something for our vote. But now you thought after you sold your community out that you were going to be the one who received all the benefits. But Joe didn't give you the job. So now you sitting at home crying. How could he do that to me? This is the real Joe Biden. And see, people like you who sell us this dream, which is really a nightmare. And I'm telling you, once his administration is over with, black people will be in a worse position than before he took office. 
for the simple fact is that Joe Biden can do things to hurt the black community and no black politician will say anything about it. If you think all those illegal aliens coming on over the border is going to help black people, you got another thing coming. You think the policies towards the Asians going to help the black community, you got another thing coming. You think the policies towards the LGBTQ community is going to help black people, you got another thing coming. But this is what Simone Sanders, Stacey Abrams, the rest, what I call the George Soros crew, was selling you. They were selling you a dream, but you got a nightmare. Now the nightmare has landed at her doorstep. This is utterly ridiculous. See, you have to understand, he's still a white man. You could complain about Trump all you want to. But one thing that Malcolm said, he said there's a left wing, there's a right wing. It's still the same damn bird. And to people like Simone Sanders, Stacey Abrams, Amanda Seals, Ava DuVernay, and so many celebrities and so many more understand what he was saying. We will always be in the same position when it comes to politics. Politics is nothing but an exchange of goods. You want my vote, I want something for my vote. Now, Simone Sanders understands how the game is actually run. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.